Hi, it's Sandy from Sandy Over 70. Thanks for watching. Well, another year has rolled by, and that means another birthday. And yesterday, I celebrated my 75th. Wow. <laughs> Time really flies. I can't believe it. Anyway, I decided to plan the birthday myself and make it special by doing things that I really wanted to do. And so I planned three different things. Actually, it turned out to be four that we did over the course of the day. And it turned out to be really nice. So I thought I'd tell you about it. The day started out at the Grove Park Inn, lunch at the Sunset Terrace. The Grove Park Inn is one of the most beautiful historic resorts here in Asheville. And it was built in 1913 by Edwin Grove and is a full service resort with golf and a spa and uh, multiple restaurants, beautiful views of the Blue Ridge Mountains. The reason I picked the Sunset Terrace at the Grove Park Inn was because I still had a gift certificate from our wedding for $200 that I'd never used. So I thought, well, you know, maybe I can get two lunches out of that. Parking is so difficult, so I thought lunchtime would be the better bet. So off we went, and I decided to order anything on the menu. And the first thing I saw was a filet steak, and you're not going to believe this. You will not believe this. $55 for a steak. I would never have ordered it. And let me tell you, I pulled out that gift certificate in advance and showed it to the waiter to make sure he could verify that it was not expired and was accurate. And he said it was. So we proceeded to order. My husband ordered a glass of wine and the recommended potato soup, but I didn't do either because I wanted to save myself for the filet. <laughs> so when it arrived, oh, it was beautifully presented on the plate. It looked delicious, and it had everything on the plate. I didn't have to order anything else. It had vegetables. It had potato and the meat itself, and it was out of this world just melted in my mouth. <laughs> I loved it. And then for dessert, I had creme brulee and my husband had the recommended trifle. Triple A rates the Grove Park Inn with four diamonds and the lobby itself is just amazing. It has 24 foot ceilings and two gigantic 36 foot fireplaces. Outside, I posed in front of an antique car. Our next stop was the Biltmore Estate, George Vanderbilt's beautiful mansion on 8,000 acres of property. Now, you may notice I'm wearing a new scarf. It's actually a shawl, and my husband gave it to me for my birthday, and I thought it was really appropriate. He knows how much I love the Biltmore State and how much I like the immersible art shows that we've attended, three in the past and one more yesterday. Anyway, he bought this shawl for me, and I'm going to show it to you because it's just gorgeous. As you can see, it has a, a painting on it of Woman with a Parasol by Claude Monet, which is one of the shows that we had actually seen there. Last year and our anniversary, we celebrated at one of the previous immersible art shows at the Biltmore Estate. And so this is a perfect way to celebrate this birthday. This year, the show is a world premiere, and it's called Italian Renaissance Alive. 
it features some of the great Italian painters of the Renaissance era. And again, when you step into the room, it's truly amazing because you are surrounded by moving art in all directions, including the floor. And it just takes you right into the scenes. And there is beautiful operatic music playing, and it's breathtaking. The whole thing lasts about 45 minutes, and you're encouraged to walk around and just experience it from different angles, although many people just sit in one spot, not me. I was all over the place taking pictures. I'm going to show you what it feels like with some video but of course it's not the same as being there but it will give you a taste as to what it's like and i highly encourage you if it comes into your area to attend one of these art shows i'm not particularly knowledgeable about art and i'm not a great art lover but you can't help but love this experience it's so exciting when you first walk in let's see what it's going to be like this time After the art show, we were going to head directly over to the wall garden to see the last of the tulips because I had heard that they were on their last leg. And the tulips there are beautiful. However, I spotted some horses. So we went over to where they were enclosed and we looked at the horses and it was so strange. Now, let me tell you, I know nothing about horses, but you know, I've seen horses. <laughs> But I've never seen them all pointed in the same direction, standing there, not moving, with their heads down, looking really strange. And then I figured out they must be sleeping. I've never seen a horse sleep before, but they must be sleeping. I really think that's what they were doing. These horses are Belgium horses, and they are used for the wagon rides that you can purchase to ride around the estate. And I thought, wow, that would be a lovely thing to do sometime. After the horses, we headed over to the wall garden to see the tulips. And half of the wall garden was planted with tulips because they're constantly planting and digging up flowers so that there's always something blooming. The tulips from a distance look terrific, but when I got close, I would say one third to half of them were already dying, but they still photograph beautifully and were lovely to see. I'm not quite sure what they're planting next, but I know that the azaleas over in the rest of the estate will be blooming soon, and that's a spectacle, let me tell you, and we'll be going back there. I hope you enjoyed this birthday video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Now have a great day.